Hello, my name is Nister Little and welcome to Little Guitar Lessons. Today I'm going to be playing a piece called Spanish Nights. It's from the Grade 1 Classical Guitar Syllabus. Um, and this is really a lesson for those preparing for their Grade 1s. Um, I'll play the piece through first and then I'll explain a few things about the dynamics and a few technical things um, just to help you on your way. Okay. So, and I presume that you have the music in front of you as well. So I'll be talking about bar numbers. So anyway, it's that it says bullishly and there's a metronome marking of a crotchet at 126, which is quite, quite fast. Uh, and it's marked forte to begin with. So I'll play it through for you. Okay, so a, a few things to look out for, starting um, forte, and we have the tune is basically in the bass, and you've got top string uh, running throughout half of the piece, or the e, the e string, the thin string. So, starts off with the thumb, forte. Actually, half the piece and then we have a section marked MP which means mezzo piano which means soft so a little a little bit softer softer so and it has an F at the top there to start with and a D in the bass so it goes like so this is bar 18 so I'll go from bar 18 and then repeat back to bar 18 Okay, now if you notice on the music you have two bars, it says at the end you have the repeat mark and, the, and that's the first time bar and then you have first time bar and then second time bar. So on the repeat you skip the first time bar and you go to the second time bar and then it, does, then it says DS al fine which means back to the sign and the little squirrely sort of thing at the beginning of the piece. So I'll go from bar 18. I'll play it as if I'm playing a repeat. I've played the repeat, so I'll go from 18 all the way through to the second time bar and then back to the beginning. Okay, so from bar 18. And that's where you stop, where it says fine, okay, which is in at the end of bar 17. So let's play the whole thing all the way through one more time.
Okay, I hope that was useful. Um, thanks for watching.